Good morning, Amy. Good morning, Kim. Thank you for joining me. So to all the rest of you, good morning. Welcome to my studio. My name is Kelly, and you have found me for your flow stretch practice, vinyasa yoga. So today, today's class is just a straightforward flow. We're gonna have no air time, so no arm balances, just straight up um, yoga, <laughs> yoga practice. And we're gonna start standing. So come to your mat and stand with me. And reach your arms up and stretch overhead. Separate your feet. And let's lean over to the right, reach up and over. And then lift up, reach over the opposite way. Inhale and reach. And one more time on each side, reach up and over, feel the side body stretch, soften your knees, inhale and reach, and over the other way. And then reach one more time. Exhale, arms down to your sides. Pick your shoulders up and roll them back. Press into your feet, including your toes, your heels. Feel the entire placement of the foot on your mat, the feet on your mat. Pick the shoulders up and roll them back. Abs in contracted, so pull in your front ribs. Two more times. And now let's step to, step to the front of your mat. Let's do sun salutation A, warm up the body. We'll do it slower the first round and then we'll do three rounds on your breath or guided by our breath. Inhale, reach your arms up, stretch your arms overhead, look up at your hands and then exhale, sweep your hands down the center line of the body as you fold over. Reach your hands for the floor. First stretch, leaning forward. Half sun salutation, lengthen the head forward. Exhale, fold. We're gonna stand again. Inhale, rise. So half sun salutation, one more time. Inhale, reach up. And then exhale, fold. Lengthen forward, look forward. Exhale, fold. Inhale, stand tall. Exhale your hands to your heart. Press your feet into the ground. Being present. Setting your intentions. Sun salutation, A. Inhale and reach. Exhale, fold over. Lengthen the head forward. Plant your hands and step back to plank. Shift forward, lower down to the mat. Cobra pose. So slide your hands just slightly, elbows draw in. Let's lift the chest up away from the floor three times. So to cobra pose, lift up, exhale, fold. Hard lower. <laughs> Inhale, lift. And then exhale, lower. Draw your elbows in. Try not to press them to your hands so much this time. Inhale, lift. Press the feet into the floor. And then exhale, lower. Now tuck your toes under and lift your body away from the mat. You can go to your knees and then lift your legs up, straighten the legs, downward dog. Pedal your heels right and left. Let's get the body moving, get warmed up. Pedaling the heels, pressing the, the fingertips into the mat. So let's walk the feet to your hands. When you walk the feet to your hands, crisscross along the way. So stepping one foot onto to the other side and then finally cross the left over the right and line your feet up and fold. Feel the outside edge of that right hip with the left leg crossed in front. So your knees are soft Relax the shoulders, abs contracted. Breathe in, breathe out. Lift up halfway, half lift. Uncross those legs 
Exhale, fold. Inhale and rise. Reaching up. Exhale your hands to your heart. Send salutation A again. So we'll do that three times. Breathing. Exhale, fold. Half lift, look forward. Step back, plank. Shift forward, lower down as you exhale. Then inhale, cobra. Press your hands into the floor. Exhale, downward facing dog. Walk your feet forward, crossing along the way. You'll end with the right crossed in front of the left this time. Right over. And line your feet up and lower all the way over, folding. Feel the more in that left hip this time with the right leg crossed over, folding. Relax the shoulders, the head, the neck. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhale, lift up halfway and uncross your legs. Exhale, fold. Inhale and rise. One more time. Right into it. Exhale, fold over. Lengthen the head forward. Plank. Lower down to the mat. Cobra pose or upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Be sure to press into those fingertips. Reach your heels away from you. Lengthen those thighs back. Spin the inner arches back. By the way, your arms, the inner arms facing each other are slightly turned forward, externally rotating at the shoulders. Move the shoulders away from the ears. Good, now look forward, crisscross walking forward. And then cross the left in front of the right. Even up your feet and fold. Lengthen the head forward. Exhale, fold, keep the legs crossed. Press into your feet with a flat back, stand up. Inhale and reach up along the way. Put your palms together. Cross your right hand behind the left and then turn your palms to face each other. So crossing at the wrist joint. Now we're gonna just lean over to the right. So that left leg is crossed in front of the right and we're leaning over to the right. Breathe in, press into your feet, contract your thighs, your quads. Inhale and lift up and then uncross, sweep the hands down to your sides. One more time, sun salutation, A, inhale and reach. Exhale, fold over, lengthen the head forward, plant your hands and go through a vinyasa. Float back, step back, shift forward as you exhale, lower down, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe, nice. Pedal your heels, walk your feet in, crossing. Your right stays in front of the left and fold. I'll lift up halfway, exhale, fold. Keep your legs like they are, your feet placed one in front of the other on the other side. Now lift all the way up with a flat back, press into your feet, strong spine, strong core. Exhale, hands to your heart. Press into your feet, reach the arms up, bring your left hand behind the right, and then turn your palms in to face each other. Good, now you're gonna lean over to the left. Press into your feet, keep your balance. Reach the arms straight, arms along the ear. Ears, <laughs> inhale and lift. And then bring the hands down to your heart, uncross the legs, reach forward, chair pose, sun salutation B. So your knees side by side, big toes together, look down, see those big toes? Now squat down more. Your knees right over the tops of your feet, reach your arms slightly forward, relax the shoulders, abs in, 
Maybe reach the arms up a little bit higher, but keep those shoulders away from the ears. Relax down, abs in, breathe in, breathe out. Three more breaths. Press your toes down. Two more breaths, inhale, exhale. One more breath. Nicely done, exhale, fold over your legs. Lengthen the head forward, plant your hands, and let's go through a vinyasa. Shift forward, lower down, up dog, or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. So once you're in downward facing dog, reach your heels towards the, the floor. Lift your hamstrings, your sitting bones towards the sky, the ceiling. Now lift your right leg up, stretch it away from you. Sweep that right foot in. Step the right foot beside the right thumb. Set your heel down, warrior one. Inhale, rise with those arms. Stretch them out overhead. Look up at your hands. Clasp your fingers, point your pointer fingers. Square the hips by drawing the left side forward and the right side back. Knee in the front over your ankle. Breathe in. Strong warrior. Inhale, unclasp the hands and bring them down to the floor. Go through a vinyasa, so plank, lower down, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your left leg up. Step your left foot beside your left thumb. Spin your heel down, warrior one, left foot forward. Inhale and reach. So lift that arch back there but then squeeze the legs in towards each other. Palms together, point your pointer fingers, relax the shoulders, pull in the front ribs. Right side forward, left side just slightly back, knee over ankle, good. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhale, bring the hands apart and hands down to the mat and go through a vinyasa. High plank, lower down. Up dog, exhale, downward facing dog. Beautiful, three breaths. Stillness, reach the heels away from you. Breathe in, press the floor away, fingertips pressing into the mat. Bend your knees, look forward, step in or float into your hands. A big step, lengthen forward. Exhale, fold, bring your feet close together. Inhale, chair. Exhale, inhale and stand. Bring your hands to your heart. Shoulders roll back, let's do it one more time. Sun salutation, B. Inhale and reach up, look up at your hands. Arms to your sides, exhale. Inhale, chair pose, five breaths. Right here, warm up the legs. Reach your arms, pull your abs in, pull in your front ribs. Breathe in, press into your toes. See the weight, or bring the weight back into your heels, lower down more. Exhale, relax the shoulders. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, exhale. One more time, inhale. Exhale, fold. Lengthen the head forward and go through a vinyasa. So step back, shift forward, lower down, chaturanga, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg lifts up. Step your right foot beside your right thumb. Spin your left heel down, warrior one. Go ahead and clasp the fingers for a moment. Point your pointer fingers, reach the arms back, knee over the ankle in the front. Good. Exhale your hands to the floor, vinyasa. High plank, low plank, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog, left leg, inhale. Left foot steps beside your left thumb, spin your right heel down, warrior one. Bring the hands together, point the pointer fingers. Exhale, hands to the mat, and vinyasa. You should be warmed up now. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe. 
Find stillness right here. Two more breaths. Look forward and bend your knees. Step to your hands, one big step. Lengthen forward, bring your feet together, exhale, fold. Inhale, chair, right here, breathe in. Hands to your heart, stay in chair pose or in this squatting position. Twist to the right, so elbow on the outside of your knee, you can look down and then turn your gaze to the right. Palms, try to get them closer to centering the chest, lower the hips, so your hips should be lower than your shoulders. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, twist the other way. Elbow to the outside of your leg. Palms together to your heart. Breathe in. Maybe you can turn the gaze towards the sky, the ceiling. Knees together. Press into your feet. Nicely done. Inhale, chair. Then exhale and fold. Lengthen the head forward and go through a vinyasa. So step back, shift forward, lower down. Upward facing dog. Exhale. Downward facing dog. Reach your right leg to the sky. Lift it up. Breathe. Turn your toes out and bend your knee. Twist. Rotate at the ankle joint. Push the floor away. Reach that left heel towards the mat. Then extend the legs straight. Step your right foot beside your right thumb. Bringing it to warrior one again. So set your heel down, lift up, reach your arms up overhead, knee in the front over your ankle, and then exhale, bring the hands down, pick your shoulders up and roll them back. So shoulders spreading in the front of the chest, pulling the shoulder blades together, reach the hands behind, clasp behind you, breathe in, and breathe out. Broadening through the chest, bow forward over that front leg. Inhale and lift. Exhale and bow forward again. We'll do that one more time. So press into your feet as a hill to hill alignment. You can see that right there. Inhale on your yoga mat. Good. Now here, lower your chest, unclasp your hands. Place your left hand on the floor, and let's set the, their left knee down. Coming into a lunge position. Lift up your chest off away from the thigh. Shift the hips forward. And now we're gonna twist over to the right in this lunge position. So get your elbow to the outside of the knee, not your armpit. I want space between your chest and your leg. Hands together, and look to the side, and breathe. Breathe in and out, fluid, deep breaths. And then bring the hands to the inside of your foot. Lift your left knee, reach the right arm up, and then reach that right arm underneath and touch your thigh, your left thigh. Inhale and reach up. So rotation at the trunk and then reach back. Feeling the stretch in the hip, touching the thigh. Inhale and reach. And then underneath and touch. One more time. And reach underneath. Excellent. Place your left hand, your right hand on the floor. Step in just a good footprint. Coming into pyramid pose. Straighten the forward leg. Back leg is straight. Your heel is on the floor. And lift up halfway, flat back, right there. You can use blocks right here if you have them. Exhale and fold over that forward leg. So bring your knee, your nose towards your knee. Breathe in. Draw the right hip back. Relax the shoulders. Try to walk your hands between, or right to about the center of the feet, between the feet. Breathe in, breathe out. Walk the hands beside your foot. 
Place your left hand on the floor. Keep this right leg straight, revolved triangle pose. Inhale, three breaths. Press into your feet, press into the fingers. Keep drawing the back, the shoulder back, the right hip in and under. Breathe in, breathe out. Take one more breath. And then exhale, place your hand on the floor. Extend the left leg back further away from you. Press into the floor, lift up the right leg and stretch it out away from you. Give it a little bit of bend at the knee, opening, flexing and straightening. Now you can go to downward dog or go through a vinyasa. Vinyasa, lower, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Let's do the second side. Same thing. Inhale, lift your left leg up. Turn your toes out and bend your knee. So reach the ball of the foot, but go ahead and rotate the foot at the ankle joint, both directions. Extend the leg straight. Step your left foot beside your left thumb. Spin your heel down, warrior one. Inhale and reach your arms up. Lift that back arch. Knee over the ankle in the front. Square the body forward facing. Bring the hands behind you. Pick the shoulders up and roll them back. Hold the shoulders back, clasp the hands. Reach the knuckles towards the floor. And then bow forward. As you bow forward, reach the hands away from you, lifting up the hands, knee over ankle. That keeps your, or helps with stability and balance to have that alignment. Look forward, lift, then exhale, bow forward. So three of those. Here's two. And then one, bow forward. Nicely done. Inhale and lift up. Unclasp your hands. Bring your hands to the mat. Set your knee down on the floor. Low lunge position. Inhale, reach your arms. Palms to your heart. Now turn, get your elbow the outside of the knee. You shift your hips forward so you can do that, right? And there's space between your chest and your thigh. So don't move the, the armpit down to the knee. Look up. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale, look forward, untwist. Hands on the inside of your foot. Lift up the right knee. Inhale, reach the arm up, the left arm, and then bring that hand, the left hand down, and reach underneath, touch your thigh. So you're reaching through, bring it up. Inhale, and then touch the thigh. Do it one more time. And then exhale and touch. Good. Place your hand on the floor beside your left foot. Step your right foot in, just about a good footprint. Straighten your forward leg. Draw the left hip back and roll it under. Straighten the left leg and fold. Breathe in. And then exhale, fold a little bit further. Soften into the pose, relax the shoulders. Move your hands. Right into the middle, breathe in, breathe out. Contract your thighs, squeeze those quadriceps, protecting the knee. Revolve triangle pose. So your hand can come on a blocker on the floor on the inside of your foot or harder outside of your foot. Press into the hand and reach the left arm up. Reach, draw the hip back and roll it under. Nicely done. Look down, place your hand on the floor, bend your knee, place your hands on the floor, step your right leg back further, reach the left leg up, three limb dog, straighten and extend. Straighten and extend. Beautiful job. Lower your foot to the floor. Vinyasa or downward dog? Lower, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe. Inhale, lift your right leg up. 
Turn your toes out and bend your knee. Rotate at the ankle joint. Flip this over if you would like to or not. So if you flip, you find the spot on the floor, press the foot into the mat, reach the right arm up and over, and look up. Then look down at the mat, reach the right hand for the floor, right leg up. Step your right foot beside your right thumb, coming to warrior two. So set your left heel down. Reach all the way up. Right there, good. Relax your shoulders, knee over ankle in the front. Shift your, your knee forward, palms facing up. Inhale, exhale, good, inhale, reverse warrior. Sweep the arm up and over your ear, reach that arm. Lean the shoulders back, hand comes down to the back of the leg. Breathe in and breathe out. Keep that knee over the front ankle. Then come over side angle. Put your form on your thigh, knee over ankle. And then if you want to reach down further, use a block right here. Sides are straight. Then maybe you can get your shoulder down further, hand on the floor. And then maybe try to add that bind. Press your feet into the ground, like you're gonna squeeze your feet in towards each other, knee over ankle. Inhale, turn your gaze up. Breathe in, don't hold your breath, breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Now unclasp your hands, warrior two, right there. Reverse it one time. Exhale, sweep it all the way over, place your hands on the floor and go through a vinyasa. So shift, lower down, lift your chest up through, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a moment. Lift your left leg up, inhale, exhale. Turn your toes out and bend your knee. Look over there, rotate your foot. Flip this if you'd like. So you just shift, press into your hand, reach the opposite arm up, look up, breathe in. Look down at the mat, hand to the floor, left leg up. Exhale, left foot beside your left thumb. Spin your right heel down, warrior two. Right there, bam. Relax the shoulders, palms up. Breathe in, get the knee. Shift that knee forward over your ankle. You can use your hand and push the knee out just a little bit. Reverse, right hand behind, left arm up. Feel the front ribs spread apart, stretching the front body. Meanwhile, pressing down into that right foot. The, the forward foot also. Bring it over side angle. Put your form on your thigh, arm up right here. Then if you want to reach down, touch the floor or put your hand on the block. Then maybe you can go down further, reach around and clasp the hands and look up. Shift the knee forward, keep pressing into your feet strongly. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhale. Exhale, breathe in, breathe out. Unclasp your hands, bring it up, warrior two right there, reverse one time. Sweep the hands over, going into plank hold right there. Got it? So plank hold, breathe in, walk down to your forearms, forearm plank, five breaths right here. Squeeze those thighs. Squeeze the thighs to the thigh bone. Breathe in, press into the forearms. Get your forearms parallel, by the way. Palms on the floor, spread your fingers, look down at your thumbs. Breathe in and breathe out. Nicely done. Two more breaths. Then one more breath. And then lower all the way down to the mat. Nicely done, put your forehead on the floor. So you're looking down. Get your body even on the mat. And lift your chest up away from the floor, reach the palms away from the floor, and sweep them forward. Cross one forearm over the other and put your forehead down. So take just a moment, three breaths. Come into locust pose.
Now lift your head, raise the arms to your sides, palms facing down. Look down at the mat as you lift the chest and lift the shoulders away from the floor. And then if you then lift the legs and then the hands up off the mat. Turn your palms facing up, reach the palms towards the sky, the feet towards the sky, look forward now. Breathe in, breathe out. Reach the arms forward as you hold the legs up, hold the chest up, and change the crossing of your arms. Set your head down. Three breaths. Lift your head. Reach the arms to your sides, strengthening the back muscles, the core muscles, the back extensors, your posture muscles. Lift your head and chest away from the floor, the shoulders, lift the legs, bring your legs in closer together or if it feels better, you can bring them out apart just a little bit. Lift the hands, turn your palms up, breathe. Inhale and this time maybe clasp your hands and reach the knuckles towards the glutes and then reach up. Lift the shoulders, breathe in, breathe out. One more breath, and then lower down slowly. And you can bring your hands to the mat, cross, place one on top of the other, forehead on the hands, and rest. Look us pose one more time with your hands clasped or to the sides, or I'll give you the option to come into bow pose, so reach for your feet like that, all right? And then you'll just pull the feet, press the feet away from you, bring the legs in towards each other, inhale, exhale, lift the toes, breathe in and breathe out. Stretching the thighs, the chest, the shoulders, breathe in and breathe out. One more breath and then lower down, splat on the mat. Good job. Slide your hands in, tuck your toes, lift your knees, or lift to your knees, come into child's pose. Separate your knees, bring the chest between the thighs, reach your arms, put your forehead down on the mat. So the forehead though, kind of tuck the chin, so the forehead is kind of at the hairline on the mat so that you're stretching or you're keeping the back of the neck comfortable. Press into your toes. Now lift up. Coming into downward facing dog. Lift up. Inhale, reach your right leg up. Stretch it away from you. Turn your toes out and bend your knee. If you want to flip this, go ahead. Otherwise, just stay here and rotate at the ankle joint. Enjoy three limb dog twisting. Extend the leg straight. And then step your right foot beside your right thumb. Come into warrior two all the way up and over. Dancing warrior. Right here, reach the right palm up, left hand down, knee over ankle in the front, and then sweep over side ankle. We'll do three of these. Forearm to your thigh or reach down for the floor, look up, reverse, side ankle. Do that again, reverse, press into that forward foot, lift up, 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 and sweep it over. Hands to the mat, go through vinyasa. So step the right leg back, shift forward, lower down, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg up, turn your toes out and bend your knee. Reach the left heel or right heel towards the floor. Flip this over if you'd like, otherwise rotate the ankle or the foot at the ankle joint. Then extend the leg straight. 
Step your left foot beside your left thumb. Warrior two. Go ahead and reverse it. Dancing warrior, sweep over, side angle. Reaching the arm over the ear, reverse. Keep pressing into your feet, inhale, exhale. And reverse, last time. Exhale, sweep it all the way over, hands on either side of your foot, press into the floor, go through vinyasa, the last one of the, the class, shift. Then lower, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog, beautiful. Step your feet to the middle of the mat. Sit behind your heels, right here. Coming into boat pose, all right? So grab your hamstrings with your hands and just lean back. Lean back on the back side of your sitting bones. Lift up the right leg, puff your chest, left leg, point your feet, looking forward. So stabilize here without the hands. Maybe put your hands right here to support. I'm still feeling that contraction in my, in my abdominals, lower mostly, reaching the hands beside your shins if you can. Reach for your toes right there. Maybe you can straighten the legs. Five breaths. Shoulders back. Keep making adjustments. Reach the balls of your feet. Two more breaths. Then slowly lower down. Half boat pose, reaching your fingers for your toes and go all the way down. Reach the arms overhead, stretch. Place your feet on the floor. And pick your back up and set it down evenly. Palms beside your hips. Slide your feet in closer to your glutes. And you can have your feet a little wider than your hips. And maybe even just turn your toes out slightly. If you ever have that pulling feeling in the top of your knees when you lift up into bridge pose, then I suggest you turn your feet out just slightly. That's fine. So press your feet into the floor, hands on the mat, lift up your shoulders and pull them in towards each other first. So you're kind of puffing your chest. Press into your feet, lift your hips up. Walk your hands together or bring your hands together. Lift the hips, the back of the head flat on the floor. Knees, try not to let them splay out. Lift up, breathe. Here's the other key thing. If you press your shoulders down, squeeze those shoulders towards each other, lift your hips straight up, press into your feet, and especially engage the inner thigh muscles right there. So the inner arch side of your foot. Engage by lifting the inner arch, pressing into the big toe, the heel. Feel the inner thighs the adductor muscles, supporting the body, lifting the glutes up. Fill your glutes. Unclasp your hands and then lower down all the way. Spread your blades apart and let your knees just come in and touch. Reach the arms like a cactus to the sides. Close your eyes, breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. So now bring your feet again, same place, right below the glutes. And again, you can slightly turn your toes out if you if that feels better in, for your knees and your hips and your lower back. Coming into bridge pose again. This time we're going to extend the legs up straight and make it a little more of a strength pose. Press your hands into the floor. Pull your shoulders in towards each other. Lift up your hips. Bring your hands together. And then kind of nuzzle, nuzzle those arms underneath you. 
press into your shoulders, back of the head on the mat, and press into your left foot, lift the right leg up straight, and then you can kind of point the foot, press into the shoulders, breathe in, breathe out. Place your right foot down, let right heel down, and then lift up the left. Flaint your foot, lift the hips, inhale, exhale, straighten the leg, breathe in, breathe out, set your foot down, lift the hips, breathe in, breathe out, press into the shoulders, unclasp your hands and lower the hips down to the mat, and then you can just kind of let the knees come in towards each other. And place your hands on your belly. So right hand on your belly, left hand on your heart, just for a moment. Fill your breath. Grab your, um, bring your knees into your chest. Cross your ankles and roll up. And extend the legs out straight. Bring your right foot to the inner thigh. Kind of turn your, the knee out to the side and extend the opposite leg so you're now facing or at the long edge of the mat looking out, right? All right, so inner thigh. Press this calf down and you're gonna turn the direction of the bent knee so put your hand on the outside of your leg, right like that, and use that to kind of turn. My foot, the bottom of my, or the top of my foot is facing the mat, by the way. So heel to the groin, and then use your hand to kind of add a little more twist to that position. And you're gonna keep this hand right here, press into the thigh, and reach the opposite arm up and over. So use that hand to Lean further and get a good inner thigh stretch right there. And if you can, bring the elbow down and touch the floor. Push your hand into the crease of the leg, and then maybe you can reach for your toes like that. So keep pressing into the thigh, the elbow. Looking up towards the ceiling. Breathe in and breathe out. Inhale, reach up, lift, bring your hands down, or your hand down, and extend the opposite leg out, bring your heel to your groin, so turning towards your left, hand at the inner, th or the outside of your leg, and put your fingertips behind your hip and look over your shoulder, And then look forward for a moment. Make sure your foot is, the shin is kind of facing the, the mat. Press this leg down. Left hand or right hand on the inner thigh. Push into the thigh. Reach the opposite arm up and over. Inhale and lift up just for a moment. And then reach over maybe a little further. Press into the hand. Maybe your elbow can come down to the floor. And then maybe you can reach for your toes. Grab that. Press your calf down, so you're engaging the quad, the, the hamstring, and the calf. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, and breathe out. Nicely done. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, and lift up. And then extend out both legs, wide straddle, wide angle fold. So legs like this, press your calves down into the floor and look forward. Now you're gonna walk the hands forward just as far as you can. Feel that the, the inner thighs stretch. If you need to, move your feet in or your legs in closer, that's fine. But lean forward with a flat back. You can also use your blocks right here. So grab your blocks and put your hands on your blocks. 
and then maybe put your forearms down. Press your calves down and look down at the mat. Pull in your, in your abdominals, navel to spine, fingers spread, pressing into the mat. Breathe in, breathe out. Push your calves down right here. Flexing your feet, press the heels down. Walk the hands in and hands on the outside of your legs and bring them together, slap them out. Right foot on the outside of your left knee, like that, and sit up tall first. And then grab the leg, and as you do that, turn your body. Use the grabbing your leg as a resistance to turn. Then, better, let that go. Bring your heel to your glute and sit evenly on your glutes and twist. Seated twist right here. Looking over your right shoulder. Press your, your, the leg that's underneath the left leg down. Press that left leg down to the ground. So use that as your turning mechanism right there. And then look center. Good. Now uncross your legs. Bring your feet together, the bottom of your feet, and sit up tall. So your knees are out to the sides. Inhale. And then exhale. And press your elbows into the inside of your knees. Grab your feet. And pull your nose towards your feet. Breathe in. Breathe out. Elbows on the for forward of the shins now. Gentle stretch of the lower back, inner thighs. And then inhale and lift. Extend your legs out. Bring the right foot on the outside of the left leg. And then you're going to turn. Nope, the other way. There we go. So sitting on your sitting bones, turn. And then maybe you can get your heel over to your glute, but pick yourself up and set yourself down evenly. Press this foot into the floor. And then you're pressing this leg down. That leg anchors you, grounds you in the twist. Looking over your shoulder. And then look forward, let your legs go, extend out straight, slap them out for a moment. So sitting with the legs along the mat, straight out. So inch your feet, the edges of your, of your heels to the end of the mat, like that. All right. Walk your hands along the legs, inhale. So up against the floor, stretching the hamstrings, similar to folding over standing for the purposes of stretching the hamstrings. But here, as you're stretching the hamstrings, I want you to contract your quadriceps. Or another way to think about it is lift your kneecaps. Three, 
two, one, take a breath in, relax. Exhale. Keep breathing, contract your thighs, squeeze, press your calves down. And then relax. One more time, press your calves down, squeeze the thighs or contract the quads, lift the knee, their kneecaps. And then relax. Lift all the way up with a flat back and go ahead and start leaning back. If you need to come to your forearms, come to your forearms. Otherwise, reach your fingers towards your toes and lower down all the way on the mat. Bring your right knee into your chest. Pull it in tightly, rotate your foot. So as you do that, use your left hand, press your left hand down in the, the top of the left thigh. So you're getting a good flexor stretch. Notice when you pull the knee in, that left leg will lift up. So keep it straight down and your, your chin neutral. Bring this knee across the body to the left. Extend over your right arm to the right and even your body up on the floor. Extend out the left leg straight. So use your hand to pull just gently against that knee. Maybe you can put your foot on the floor over there. Maybe you wanna, you can grab your toe and extend the leg straight. Look over to the right. Even up your shoulders. One more breath. Bend your knee and settle your lower back onto the floor. Extend the leg up straight. Hamstring stretch, flex your foot. So if you have a strap, you can put a strap around your foot, but it's not needed. We won't be here for long enough. Just a couple of breaths and then we'll go to the other leg. Pull the leg in towards you, hamstring stretch, extend. So right here, you're contracting the quad and flexing your foot. So lengthening the hamstring while it's being contracted. Or while you're contracting the um, antagonist muscle to create flexibility in the hamstrings specifically. Bend your knee and extend the right leg out. Bring the left knee in, pull it in, snug. Rotate your foot around one direction and then the other. Then bring this knee across to the right. Gotta find my mic over here. Bring it over. Put your foot on the floor, and then maybe you can extend your arm out, heel to the floor maybe, and then another option is to grab your big toe. So I think this is revolved triangle pose. We did this earlier. Breathe in and breathe out. Relax the shoulders and the hips. And then look up, bend your knee, lift the leg, settle your lower back and extend the leg up straight for just a moment. Reach your hands behind the hamstring, pull the leg in, behind the calf, flex your foot. Contracting the quad while the, the hamstring is lengthened. Press your right calf to the floor. And you can use your right hand and press that leg down. Center up your body, you guys. Bring the leg in more. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. And then bend your knee, bring both knees into your chest. Happy baby pose. So reach your arms on the inside of your knees, reach cross at the shins and grab the edges, outside edges of your feet. 
bottom of your feet facing the ceiling and then just rock gently from side to side for a couple of breaths. And then we'll have one minute of Shavasana. And then we're done. You've moved. You've started your day. Now extend out your right leg to the towards the right corner, left leg towards the left corner. Put your palms on the floor, facing down or facing up. Even up your body on the mat, your shoulders and your hips, and let your feet just kind of fall out. Relax. The head, the neck, the shoulders. Belly softens. Hips. Legs. Arms and your feet. Just one minute of time. Find stillness in your breath. Begin to move your fingers and your toes. Slide your feet onto the floor. Drop your knees to the right and the left. And then drop the knees over to one side and keep rolling over and turning your body. Push yourself up to a seated position and let's close, close class together. Bring your hands together in front of your heart. And close your eyes. Relax the shoulders and sit up tall. Edge of the hands to the mind's eye, the third eye, and thanks and in gratitude. Edge of the hands to the heart again. I bow my practice to you. The light in me honors the light in you. Namaste. Thank you. Thank you for showing up. I appreciate it. Let me know what you thought. And if you did this live, or if you did this recording. Have a great one, bye.